Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this full moon video. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So we're going to do a connection today and we're going to connect with the energy for the feminine, the masculine, the journey in relation to this powerful flower full moon in Scorpio. So what do we need to know? Now before I even start with the cards, I'm going to use the Moonology Oracle today and the Moonology Manifestation, two great decks that we all love by Yasmin Boland. But I am feeling there's so much fire energy coming in. So even though this is a Scorpio moon, it feels like it's fiery. And obviously Scorpio is a water sign, but it's the sexy sign of the zodiac, people say. And whether you believe that or you don't, that's what they say. And they do find that it's very fiery. So I feel that this moon is bringing in lots of power passion, purpose, motivation to get things done. So you may find that you're having a clear out, you know, you are clearing your schedule or you're giving things to charity or you're clearing things out, you know, you are organizing things, maybe you're decorating, you could be gardening, you're getting things ready because there's a preparation energy. And I feel that's what the moon is bringing in. It's bringing in a preparation, getting ready, sorting things out and I definitely feel that the masculines are in this energy where they're going deep within because you know they know they've got to make these changes and the longer it goes on that they linger around and stick around in these toxic situations or these karmic environments the worse things are getting for them they're feeling more miserable they're feeling more drained tired they're having ascension symptoms you know they're not in a really good place and the good place is with you you know, they want to be with you in the masculine reading today it came through so powerfully that you're the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You're what they're dreaming about. And I actually shared earlier somewhere over the rainbow, the song, because, you know, you are their love and they desire you in every way. So let's get an energy then. So let's shuffle the moonology first of all. So thank you, angels. Can we connect, please, with the energy of the full moon around the divine feminines? Straight out the deck, two cards. The energy around the divine masculines, sticking out the deck, and an energy around the connection. Thank you, thank you. So we've got there, we've got feminine, masculine, and connection cards. I'm going to do the same thing with the moonology manifestation. So what's this full moon doing for the divine feminines? What's the full moon doing for the divine feminines? So card sticking out and a card at the front so again a few cards coming out the energy around the divine masculines wow they absolutely flew out of the deck they're giving me fear around the masculines wow fear coming up there so the full moon is bringing up fears to be released a lot of burpy energy there so you know if you find that you're burping yourself that's why and the energy around the connection again jumping out the deck here cards for the connection so cards for the connection cards for the masculine and cards for the feminine so we're going to start with the feminine so we've got take time to breathe out because look at this a new romantic cycle begins so what the energy is this moon is bringing in a new cycle a new romantic cycle that's about to begin now i feel this new romantic cycle is going to be balanced because it's in libra energy so you know, it's showing you more balance. There's going to be a more balanced relationship between you. This is what's on the way. So while this has been manifested and created, breathe. Take time to breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. And whenever we go into fear or struggle or anxiety, breath work will help. So use your breath to heal during this time use this breath to manifest you know breathe in what you do want and breathe out what you don't want because a new romantic cycle is about to begin now you know the signs you can take this how it resonates with you so for example you know if you are a libra you may feel something powerful when you're connecting with this card because it's in your sign but really what i'm feeling is between now and the new moon and between now and the Libra season, there's going to be lots of changes. You know, the new romantic cycle, more balanced energy, things falling into place. And we've got work through your feelings. The last quarter moon in Aries there. So work through your feelings, feminines. Allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. 
Observe your feelings without judgment and allow them to flow and work through them. That means learn how to understand them, to become the observer. Allow yourself to feel what you're going through and allow yourself to make sense of it in a higher way. And Aries energy there is, you know, about movement forward. So you're able to move through your feelings by working through that by understanding them in a higher way. So you may be feeling extra sensitive and all this fire energy. And we've got the last quarter moon in Scorpio. So obviously it's a Scorpio moon. And this Scorpio moon is revealing what needs to be seen. So bringing up triggers, bringing up things to be healed and worked through. So remember, to be in union, you have to be balanced. You have to balance your own feminine and masculine energy. But you also have to feel at peace with where you are. And work through all the things that create the things that stop you from being together. For example, if you go through jealousy, you have to heal jealousy to be together. If you go through self-worth or low self-esteem issues, you have to heal that to be together. And it's the same for the masculines. They have to heal their insecurities and their deep wounds. So if you felt ready and then something's come up with this full moon that's triggered you, it's showing you you're not quite ready. So it's come up so you can heal it so you can be ready. So the full moon is revealing what needs to be seen. And this may include things that pop up on social media that can trigger you, or things that need to be seen within their world. So they may be going through things that they are starting to see, about their karmic partner, or their situation, or their lifestyle, and it's bringing up you know, fear and insecurity and doubt. So breathe through whatever comes up for healing. And we've got the last quarter moon in Libra, make time for self-love. So lots of Libra energy coming in for the feminine here because it's about balance. And the way you balance yourself is by breathing and making time for you through self-love. So instead of giving everything to your twin during this full moon, make sure you're giving to yourself. And that's going to bring in power. And that's what you're doing here, Divine Femme, you know, focusing on yourself, sending your intentions out into the universe and trusting the love. So for the masculines, we've got two clear cards. We've got nothing will come out of the situation. So what I'm really feeling is here, they need to look at this, take a reality check because nothing's going to come out of the situation they're in. You know, nothing's going to come off. It's not meant to be. They're not meant to be in that job. They're not meant to be in that karmic relationship, that marriage, that situation. They're not meant to be there. So they're realizing they need to move on because they want you and they want a new beginning. They want adventure in their life. And that's why they're taking a reality check. So the full moon is helping them to realize their truth. Things being revealed to them. That nothing can come of their situation. That they need more adventure in their life. They need more fun. They want to feel happy, romantic, lustful. They want to experience life with you. And the sun has just come shining through. And look how it's illuminated the cards with that full moon. So this is powerful because the masculines are realizing now nothing's going to come of that situation they're in. And they're also showing me as well, if they've been waiting, you know, maybe they've been waiting for more money to come in a job. Say they've been waiting for a promotion or they've been waiting for something to happen. Nothing's going to happen. So in other words, they've got to make these things happen. So they need to take that reality check. So the energy around the connection is it's time to release negativity. Look at this full moon in Scorpio. So the full moon in Scorpio is bringing in a new beginning. It's the flower moon. So it's giving us the opportunity to begin again. And the way we begin again is by releasing the negatives, releasing fear, releasing anything toxic. And also to balance the spiritual aspect of our lives with the physical aspect of our lives. To balance spirituality and practicality. To connect in the 5D but also connect in the 3D and to step into power and the way we do that is through cooling our emotions through breath work and breathing so a lot of fire energy coming up which I'm not surprised because that's really what I've been connecting with you know when I connected with what the energy of this moon is to do this reading because you know I wasn't sure what it is because you know I'm not really into astrology in that way I just feel the energies and I feel the power, you know, I'm not really surprised it's a Scorpio moon because it's bringing up the need to release the negatives because 
Scorpios, what you tend to do sometimes is lash out or react without responding or thinking. You know, you have a tongue that can hurt or heal. So what I'm really feeling is, you know, the, the Scorpio energy is bringing up the, the emotion inside to look at our lives very realistically, to know what we feel, to trust in what we feel. Whereas the Aries energy is about movement and action, which is what I'm feeling. You know, that's what I'm feeling. So if you'd have said to me, Liz, it's an Aries full moon, I wouldn't have been surprised at all because of the fire. And obviously, even in today's Daily Twin Flame reading, we got the Sagittarius energy coming through, the fire of the archer to move forward with unwavering faith, to focus on your dreams and have that vision and hold it strong in your mind. And I love how the Libra energy is coming through about balance. So a lot of balance energy. You may even start seeing bees because bees are about miracles. You may see wasps because wasps are about anger. And I feel the masculines need to cool their emotions because they're feeling very angry and frustrated at themselves. They know they need to step into the power. And they're feeling angry and frustrated because things may hold them back. And they're thinking, wow, well, nothing's going to come of this situation that I'm in. Because I know that I'm taking a reality check. I can't sit around and procrastinate anymore because a new romantic cycle is about to begin. And they're also worried that if they don't get their, you know, bumming gear, if they don't step into their power, if they don't do what they need to do, they're also a bit scared and anxious and worried that you may move on with someone else or a new romantic cycle may begin for you. And you know that really you don't want that because you want them but anything that's bringing up any triggers, just breathe through them, work through your feelings, allow things to flow and trust the luck. Because I guarantee you, whether they are with a karmic partner, with a marriage, whatever's going on, nothing will come of the situation they are in. Why? Because wherever that card is, because they are meant to be with you. So release any negative energy, release any fear. Instead, make time for self-love. You know, because the universe is revealing what needs to be seen. You don't have to try or do anything special but be you. And you're being seen. In other words, the masculine see you. You are seen, heard and understood. And that's what they're doing. They're taking that reality check, realising where they truly belong. With you, you're the adventure they seek. You're everything that they want. You're the balance between spirituality and practicality that they want. So trust the love this full moon is doing what it needs to do. Relax and breathe. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.